Dutch with Groomroom. My name is Jack, your host, and today I am bringing another shaving video. And my choice of soap today is going to be new from Southern Witchcrafts. And as you can see, this is Grave Fruit 2. Now, for anyone that didn't try Grave Fruit 1, I really like that scent. Um, the way I would describe it is it was like a very grapefruit forward with a slight bit of uh, white floral. The white floral, to me, wasn't really detectable, but on the splash, it was very detectable. Um, this goes in a slightly different correct direction. So this is grapefruit forward and you get like this really nice root, root, ripe, juicy grapefruit. But the base comes out a little bit more on this. And the base is a sandalwood, which is quite a creamy sandalwood. And then a uh, really dry cedarwood. So for me, the, the dry cedarwood is really the thing that's making this uh, scent really nice for me. It complements the juicy ripe grapefruit quite a lot. Yeah, really nice. This is in the vegan base from Southern Witchcraft. It's quite soft as you can see, but I never have a problem with this one. This is a, one of my personal favorite vegan bases. So we're gonna use that today. And uh, we'll talk through the scent, talk through the soap base as well, because I've not used that for a while. Um, brush of choice today, we're gonna go with the synth. And this is my Aloha Shaving um, brush. This is from uh, Ken Shave 326 this is one of the first brushes I believe he made, and I put a 28mm uh, uh, Simbad in there. I really like this one. It uh, means quite a lot to me as well. Made, made by a good guy, so I'm going to be using that today. And my razor of choice today is going to be a uh, razor you may not have seen. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have. This is a 6 8 Ralph Ost. This is a really nice blade length for me. It's about two and a half inches, maybe even less. Um, some nice horn scales there. And this is a full hollow. Uh, you guys know how I kind of feel about razor grinds. I tend to prefer the heavier grinds, but I can get decent shaves with those kind of a uh, thinner, much thinner, <laughs> less less heavy grinds. They're fine for me, um, but I do prefer I do prefer those thicker grinds personally. Let's uh, all comes down to preference at the end of the day. So face is wet. Let's open up this tub again because I'm a dunce and forgot I have wet hands. <laughs> So, there we go. I found the Southern Witchcraft tubs, like the uh, the lids can actually be pretty pretty damn difficult to open sometimes, because they kind of get stuck. This is what I like about scents. You don't need to you don't need to uh, soak them or anything. Don't need a really long load on this soap, so I'm going to do about 20 seconds here. I don't use scents very often because I have like a pretty big collection of hand tied brushes. But every time I do use scents, I thoroughly enjoy them. So they just they just work. They're no nonsense. Bit more water, and then you guys can see that there. Very nice. Yeah, man, that cedar wood is banging. That's that's that and the. Uh, and the grapefruit are the most prominent notes to me. I'm a big fan of cedarwood. My favorite cedarwood scent is Far Afield by uh, Oakenlau. Very cedar forward. I have about 24 hours of growth here. I typically shave every two days at the moment, but I have a day off today, so I thought I'd get a shave in. You know, I make videos when I have time and all that. When I put proto lather on my face like this, I make sure I mix a bit of water in because I don't want it to be like this dry, cakey layer underneath, uh, you know, a pretty hydrated lather. I don't know if I'm going to keep this one around yet, just generally because, you know, you guys know me, I'm not the, the biggest citrus scent guy, but it, it's really enjoyable for what it is. I think they did a very good job, as they do, you know, I think I, Southern Witchcrafts are a good company. Pretty dry, but we'll give it what it needs. Paint that on here. Yeah, I hope you guys are well. I'm doing well. I would like to say if you'd like to support the channel in, uh, in another way, aside from subscribing, which I really appreciate, you can always buy me a coffee, and you'll find the you'll find the link below. How to do that? If you don't want to buy me a coffee, then perfectly fine. Just, you know, watch the video. It's good enough for me.
See, it's funny because I actually don't think I overloaded this, but I may have. Oh, nice. Scent's pretty bold. I'd say maybe a 6 out of 10. Maybe even 7. These synths are just so easy to use. I know some people that don't like the face feel of synths. I, I really don't mind too much. They've always just kind of... They've more been function over form for me. Like, I don't like the way they look. As weird as that sounds. But man, they work very well. I actually use this brush for traveling more often than not, because I, the Sinbad knot is probably my favorite synthetic knot. You're gonna have to put up with the force at JR, because I didn't fill my sink. So feel free to click off now after you buy me a coffee. Right. Just adding some water here. We don't need a really dense, Kind of like thick lather, just trying to get it well enough hydrated to where we can, you know, the blade does what it needs to. Very nice. Still needs a bit more water. And this has always been kind of one of my more favoured uh, vegan soap bases. I just think it works really well. I love the lather it creates. It's a nice, dense, low structure lather. And uh, something else I really value about Southern Witchcrafts is they make scents that are challenging, you know? Like, don't get me wrong, I don't love them all, but I, I, I appreciate the fact that they're willing to challenge me in that way. And uh, we'll continue to buy their stuff pretty much because of that. Um, they're not making scents that are easy, which, is easy to do. <laughs> well, not easy to do. I mean, the making is pretty much the same, but as far as like justifying it, the, she's making sense that um, not everyone is gonna love, but I really appreciate it from a consumer standpoint. Yeah, dude, look at this lather. I think I've said this every single time I've used this soap base. It's just, I just love how it lathers. Um, another really great release they had this year. I don't know if I made a video for it. I may have is Fougère de Mata. Very good, one of the best Fougère scents in shaving in my opinion. Definitely, definitely up there. Still gonna add some more water into this because I can take it. That should be good there. Yeah man, look at that. Absolutely stunning. Very wet, very nice and wet. That's what she said. Oh, just clean myself up a bit. Look like a raggedy mess. I think we're good here. Draw some lines and then get to shaving. So, yeah, 24 hours growth. Still shaving with straights. I've been really enjoying it, as I said, so. I don't really plan on stopping anytime soon, quite frankly. Great lather from uh, Southern Witchcrafts. As I would expect, let's get to shaving here. Full hollow Ralph Ost 6.8. Feels really good. Oh, we're gonna get a gloop, a gloop, a gloop. Come on, gloop. Come on, gloop. It's hanging on by a thread here, guys. Come on, gloop. Hey! We got a gloop live on camera.
Cool. Switch hands here. Dry that off. Make sure it's clean. And, uh, go on the left side. the first pass. Oh. Raise your side there. Really nice, kind of like in between pass like that. I like to just spread it around. Because there's like remain like residual soap on my face, like there's no point in you wasting it. I am gonna clean the beard out a little. There we go. And this is where DK says, that's not a beard. This is a beard. Crocodile Dundee. That's not a knife. Right. Let's clean this blade off real quick. Um, cast it. Get this big bit of white from my chest because it looks incredibly silly. Okay, let's lather up for the second pass. Really beautiful lather here. Actually, dip the brush again. Get some more water into it. Don't know why the hell not? And again. Real nice. Let's shape the second pass here. So I've been doing something a bit different. I'm not going to try again. Um, I've just been shaving straight against the grain of my face. See uh, how easy it is. I've not done it with this razor yet, so. Didn't feel as smooth as the spreker I did it with last time, but it gets the job done, you know. It get, it, there's like this tanging sound. I mean, this is a pretty hollow razor, guys. Really do love the size. Okay. 
but for my preferences I'm always going to prefer those thicker grinds like the wedges and nail wedges if I want something a bit thinner I typically go with like a may have got a bit of water in the tang there so making sure I dry that immediately if I uh, if I want something thinner I'll go with like a half hollow pretty much but uh, I do like how these hollow shaves for sure I find keeping the blade shallow here it's really important because if the blade isn't shallow it will just punish you <laughs> like A bit of a feel around. Hmm. Cool. I think we're good here, guys. Uh, as far as like the shave goes, let's wash off the blade a bit. <clears throat> we'll dry that off in a second. Get this uh, really wet lather on the face. Um, we'll do the inverted pass real quick. Well, I'll get the lather on the face first. This is actually pretty, pretty voluminous lather. Right. Let's wash this off. You know what? I actually don't think we need to do the inverted pass, so just had a feel around just then and we're pretty close. I'm happy with that, so let me uh, clean off the gear, tidy up the the mess, and uh, we'll be back for the post. See you in a bit. Hey guys, it is post shave time and I do have a splash, so we're all good on that front. It's a really nice shave overall. Really smooth on the face, a little bit left in the neck, but that's generally what I do. I don't want to I can't push it on the neck. Um, Grapefruit 2, Splash, I love the black bottle. I wish uh, more people would do that. It looks fantastic, especially considering like their, their tub is black. It just works really well. Let's get a good splash of this on. Um, again, very cedar forward. A bit more grapefruit coming out on this, but it's still very cedar forward. No burn, this is an alcohol free splash. One of the ones I really enjoy. Wow, great shape. That's a really nice set. I think I'm going to keep this one around. <clears throat> okay, so let me do a recap of everything I used today, and as always, I'll let you guys go. Grave Fruit 2 by Southern Witchcrafts, big thumb up for me. If you like citrus scents, it's a bit of a no-brainer. Way more than that going on, in my opinion. Uh, sandalwood and cedarwood creating a really nice, creamy, uh, tart, sharp base. Um, helps the grapefruit shine, really brings out that grapefruit. That's really well done. Soap base and aftershave formula are fantastic, so I'd always recommend Southern Witchcrafts. They're gonna challenge you with scents, and that's really what I like about them. My razor of choice today was the 6 8 Ralph Ost, um, full hollow, as you can see there, look how thin that is. Really nice razor, shaves really well. I can't really complain. The edge is probably not to my liking, like I prefer something is slightly smoother, but 
it's a really nice raisin nonetheless, really well made. Uh, yeah, fantastic. My brush of choice today was from good old Shave 326, and this is the Aloha Shaving uh, with a 28mm Simbad. Really, really nice brush. I, I, I do use that pretty regularly. Um, that's my travel brush, as I said, I really enjoy that one. And my splash with the, the badass black bottle, it's grapefruit too. Uh, really nice splash formula, as I said. I, one of my favorite splash formulas, in fact. It dries down very fast, leaves a little bit of tack, but that tends to be a good sign for me. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video today. If you're new around here and haven't yet subscribed, please consider doing so. I very much appreciate it. Apart from that, my name is Jack, your host from the Virtual Grim Room. Wherever you are in the world, have a wonderful day. And goodbye for now.